Right, we're back now with new legislation in Virginia that allows the state's attorney general to implement new gun violence prevention programs. Today, Mark Herring met with leaders in Norfolk to talk about what's needed here in Hampton Roads. And Casey Baylor was there and explains what solutions leaders brought to the table. It's a topic of conversation that's all too common in Hampton Roads, gun violence. I think the gun violence is the symptom of a bigger problem. And until we begin to address those underlying problems, I, I think we're nibbling around the edges. Tuesday morning, several city and community leaders identified root issues that lead to violent crime in Hampton Roads. Gang activity, easy access to guns, straw purchasing, and poverty are what leaders say is driving it. To have an immediate impact is to focus on the flow of illegal guns. Norfolk Police Chief Larry Boone says the police department started tracking the flow of guns about five years ago, and he's noticed guns are getting into the hands of young people too often. Portsmouth Police Chief Renato Prince says young people need mentors that will show them a different way of life. I said it, and I'm going to keep saying it. It's not just a police issue. We can arrest all day, but we're not going to arrest our way of the situation that we find ourselves in today. The discussion follows new legislation passed through the General Assembly. During the summer session, lawmakers passed Attorney General Mark Herring's funding request to implement community-based gun violence prevention programs. Herring proposed $2.5 million from the American Rescue Plan to go towards these programs. They'll focus on youth engagement, conflict resolution and mediation, neighborhood partnerships, and collaborations with religious organizations and other stakeholders. One act of gun violence is too many. So we're going to do everything we can to combat it. Uh, we know that these programs and these community-based efforts, taking a, a public health approach, taking comprehensive community effort work. Hoping this will lead to stopping crime across the seven cities. In Norfolk, Casey Baylor, 13 News Now. And Attorney General Herring led gun violence prevention programs in the past across the state. His office says Norfolk had significant numbers, seeing a 19% drop in violent crime and a 25% decrease in homicides.